waking up bright and early in our hotel room in Riyadh. It's quarter past 4 a.m. and just enough time to squeeze in a quick cup of coffee. Ready for a trip to Abha. Just arrived at Agpa Airport and on our way to collect our hire car. We are leaving Agpa. Just struggling with our rental cars station, which are all in Arabic. We're on to Rijal Alma. We've arrived at the stunning village of Rijal Alma in Saudi Arabia. It's taken about one and a half hours drive from Abha and it is stunning. We are about 1800 meters above sea level and I'm going to show you a little bit more just around the corner. Lots of different terraces, lots of different levels, and it's all landscaped with these steps. So we're going to get a good workout today. And looking forward to getting up close to the top there. Really peaceful and serene landscapes here. Refreshments area. We're here in July and it's quite bearable actually, most of Saudi is quite hot right now. So Alpo was around 18-19 degrees this morning 
and it's around mid 20s now. Still quite harsh under the sun. For the ladies visiting, it's a little bit difficult to negotiate these steps in an abaya, but not impossible. scruffy it seems to get. Lots of little rooms just full of rubbish. Let me take a look at this roof. They're falling to bits. The Vigil Museum in the Old Village Heritage has got a collection of instruments, coins, wooden doors, handmade textiles, traditional costumes, and some stone tools. So there's lots on display and lots to see. We are at the top of the museum and we've got another stunning view across Ridge Alma. Really beautiful and just those typical picturesque white uh, window frames behind us. Amazing. We've stopped here to acclimatise to the altitude a little bit. Uh, feeling a little bit short of breath actually. It's probably, we're guessing, around 3,000 metres above sea level. So we've been down this huge road with so many hairpins, <laughs> past baboons and all sorts of creatures. It's been an absolutely wild ride. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really amazing viewpoint. And uh, this is looking over Rigel Alma, the town. So we were just at the village, the ancient village, but that's the town beneath us there in the valley. So yeah, just a stunning place. Um, and really, really unexpected to see in Saudi Arabia. Just uh, so much green really amongst the mountains and um, yeah, still, and I've mentioned it, but just quite surprised by the temperature. It's really lovely, and having come from elsewhere in the Middle East where it's piping hot in July, it's really nice for a change. So, we're really enjoying it up here on the mountain.
sadly we have been rained out. So we're at the Al Habala Resort, which is right next to the cable car. Um, we arrived around 3.30 p.m. but there's been a massive rain cloud. So unfortunately the cable car has shut down this afternoon, but hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of shots later. We'll just have a look at the, the view and yeah, rain in Saudi. We ever could have predicted this. Okay, so we've just come back for an amazing, amazing time at the Ridge Al Alma village. Um, it was really, really wonderful. The views were spectacular. Um, really interesting to see some of the local architecture. And um, unfortunately now we have a little bit of a somber uh, end to our day, but we are still looking forward to seeing more of the place. And this is part of travel in Saudi. Nothing ever goes to plan. And there is always a fun story that you'll have to tell at the end. Day. Here we are at our stunning accommodation, which would you believe it is now raining. So as you'll see, I now have my rain jacket on. Um, sadly, it started raining on the way to the hanging village and so we um, just checked into our accommodation early um, because the cable car has shut down sadly. Uh, we did see some of the view before it became obscured by cloud, um, but I'm going to show you through what the accommodation is like. It has got a main bedroom and two single beds. So let's have a look. This is our villa that we're staying in. A little bit of an experience staying in Saudi Arabia. Um, we have previously opened up all of the windows because there was a very strange smell in here. It's quite large actually. So we've got a living area and a dining table, TV. This is the bathroom here. And this is the door to the bedrooms. So. Bathroom, toilet, not brand spanking new, but nevertheless, <laughs> something to wash ourselves in. And this is a room with two single beds. This is actually the family suite. And this is the main room. And this is the view from the main room. So unfortunately out there, it is a very cloudy day, but that is the main cliff edge uh, near Al Habala. And this is just coming back into the main area. So the main area is quite lovely in terms of views. We can see right over the cable car area. So there's a lot of people all congregating up there for their picnics and enjoying the rain actually. It happens a little bit more frequently in the mountains, but in general in Saudi, not an everyday occurrence. The cable car's open till 7 p.m. and opens again at 10 a.m. in the morning. Sadly, I think we shall be taking views from afar today. Never mind, this is travel and this is life. Okay, so feeling a little bit underwhelmed so far with our hanging village experience. Um, we arrived at the cable car to find out that it was closed uh, due to the weather, which is fair enough. It was raining, uh, thundering, lightning at the time. Um, so we've come back to our accommodation, <laughs> which uh, is 950 Saudi royals for one night, uh, roughly 250 US dollars for quite um, a smelly, <laughs> uh, strange little little unit, I guess. I mean, it's quite large in floor space. There's a dining area, a living area, and a kitchen, two bathrooms. 
bathrooms. Um, it's, yeah, it's a little bit uh, isolated and probably not what we would have thought as a resort, but this is Saudi, so <laughs> you have to roll with the punches and it's all part of the experience and the journey. Um, so anyway, so we'll probably just do a bit of unpacking and then we're heading back into uh, Appa region to get some food because sadly there's no restaurant here. So um, yeah, we're a little bit stuck for food. We've got heaps of snacks in the car, but no, we did not budget for um, there not being any form of restaurant or cafe out here. Nevertheless, <laughs> uh, the cable car normally runs down behind me from the cliff edge uh, down into a little village. I've heard it's very beautiful and lovely, so yeah, sadly we'll be missing that on our journey, but um, we'll try and get some photos and video later on to check out the views. Um, we were there a little bit earlier and they do look quite incredible, but yeah, hopefully some of this fog lifts and we'll be able to get on with our journey and enjoy. So this is traveling in Saudi and just need to be aware that it doesn't always go to plan, but um, if you want to see this amazing country, this is what you have to plan for. There will be a few moments you have to expect a little bit of adventure, shall we say. Um, but really it's worth coming to. It's uh, such a diverse land and we are currently in the mountainous area, but obviously there's also the desert and the plains. So um, it's well worth visiting. It's just a little bit of trial and error and there will always be something that is not quite perfect. However, we've already had a wonderful day so far. So uh, looking forward to the rest of the journey this evening and tomorrow. But for now, we have a journey back into Alpa to find ourselves some food and then um, we are airing out our apartment <laughs> with all of the windows and doors open to uh, let rid of the mothball smell. But I mean, this is travel and this is life and this is the, actually the only uh, resort that's right nearby the uh, cable car. So if you are looking to do that, it is a nice little stop. The reason we chose it here is because we were hoping to avoid having to go back into Upper. It's a little bit closer towards Wadi Lajab where we head tomorrow. So um, the drive will be a couple of hours and it will spare us a little bit of time. Nevertheless, um, this is uh, part of the journey. I look forward to bringing you more of Saudi Arabia tomorrow. found the only restaurant open this evening and having a traditional dining experience. Lovely room for the view. Delicious. The bread rice is amazing. You got your shoes on still? Yeah. Woo! Gold! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh. Oh, good man, thank you. Oh, you're a good man. Thanks a lot. <laughs>